forming three digit numbers and comparing their value. So here we have the 10 digits we have in our numeric system. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So if we want to make a three digit number, one simple way to do it is just having the numbers. We're going to mix them just for fun. So we can get three of them. In this case, I have seven, then I have five and six. And we can try making numbers, as many numbers as we can um, with these three digits. So the first one is seven, five, six, which is 756. And I am going to write the number here, 756. Then I can try keeping this here and moving this here. And I would say I have 765. So I am going to write the number 765. I'm using the same digits. Now I want to start my number with six. And I can say 675 or I can say 657 now I am going to move the 5 to the left and I can form 567 and if I switch the 7 and the 6 I have 576 So now I, I know I have all these numbers and I want to see which number is the smallest or the least and which is the greatest. So for that I can, I can see or I, I should see um, the greatest value which is not the ones because this is, these are only by ones. This is by tens and this is by hundreds. So the greatest value is, are the hundreds. So let's go from least to greatest. So who has the least value? Seven, six, seven, six, five, Five. So the least value is 5. But who has the same, the, 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 least, the least or less between these two? I'm going to pull this and then I can see the next digits. I'm going to ignore these ones for a minute. And I'm going to pull this to the tens place. So the hundreds place are the same, but the tens place have different digits. So what is more, 560 or 570? So 570 is more, 560 is less. Therefore, this is the smallest or the least among all the all the numbers I have. So 567 is going to be the list. Then 576 is going to be the next on the list. Now I go back to the numbers I still have. And I know that 
one has the least seven six seven six so i'm going to ignore the seven because i know that six is less than seven but to decide who has less i have to look at the next digit which is 70 and it's 50. so who has less 670 or 650. so i know that 650 has less and then 675 in this case is the next in the list so now i come back to the the last ones and i have 700 700 so if i follow the same pattern i can see 760 or 750 so i know that 750 is less than 760. this way i know that this is the least of all of them and this is the greatest of all of them and the order is from least to greatest